I found a documentary which is about the life of military cadets in the People's Liberation Army of China military academies. These cadets are not actual soldiers in the PLA yet, but they are college students who are studying to become officers in the PLA. I thought this documentary was very fascinating because not only does it provide us with an insight into what life in the PLA is like these days, but it also is not a propaganda piece. This documentary does not try to glorify military service. It does not try to glorify war. It does not try to portray the military like an action movie with dramatic music and explosions nonstop. But rather, it really shows an honest portrayal of what military life is like with the monotonous routines and the monotonous training. So I thought this documentary was very eye-opening and I thought we should watch it together and I'll give some commentary. So let's watch the documentary together. Um, by the way, I'm not playing this documentary in in order. I'm just cutting out scenes from this documentary, which I thought was very uh, interesting. So I'm cutting out highlights from this documentary, which is over an hour long. So let's watch this documentary together. So they're setting up an encampment right now. Which requires a lot of teamwork. And they settle in for the night. The next morning, at sunrise, the cadets wash up and then line up in formation. And here's something I noticed also, the training units are segregated, there are no co-ed units, the male and the females are separated from each other. It's very unlike western armies like the US army where the training is now integrated and co-ed. Breakfast is served. Let's see what kind of food the PLA serves their soldiers. So it looks like their breakfast consists of some eggs some mantau, which is like a type of steamed bun, and some type of bean curd. You see that glass bottle on the right? That glass bottle, it looks like a type of fermented bean curd that Chinese people like to mix with their rice and bread and so on. It's very salty. I forgot what's the name of it, but I know it's a very famous brand in China. It has the picture of the lady on it. So the cadets set out for their field exercise. The first simulation is a simulated enemy air reconnaissance overflight so an enemy recon plane just flew over the company and the cadets take cover and try to conceal themselves the march continues i can't help but notice how beautiful the chinese countryside is look how lush and green the entire chinese countryside is it's just beautiful but the weather is very hot. You can tell that the weather, if you've ever been to the Chinese countryside, you know the weather is very high, especially during the summertime. Even this cadet here is complaining about the weather. He's saying that it's hotter than yesterday. Company commander orders the cadets to put on their chemical warfare equipment. So they have to put on their gas masks. They have to put on their chemical protective gear, which by the way, in this type of weather, is going to be very hot. These cadets are probably melting under this type of equipment. They are probably on fire right now under that type of equipment. This is very interesting because because in Taiwan, the soldiers in Taiwan do not train if the weather gets too hot. Much less train in chemical warfare equipment in the heat. In Taiwan, there are many rules in place which do not allow Taiwan soldiers to train in the heat. So there's a lot of hiking around and marching around, as you can see in this documentary. But that's the life of a soldier, right? 
since the beginning of history in any army. Uh, soldiers march around and hike around. Rome was conquered on foot. Much of China was conquered on foot by the Han Dynasty and the Tang Dynasty and all dynasties of China. Soldiers march on foot. That is how it has always been since the beginning of human history. But it looks like everybody is in good spirits. The rain must be a really good break from the hot weather. Now they're doing rifle qualification. So they're loading the magazines with the ammunition. And these are priceless smiles right here. Look how excited, look how happy these guys look over here. And it, looks like, it looks like here they have some kind of contraption which is hooked up to a laptop and it probably is some kind of device with a laser on it that trains people how to align their sights and it just is like a learning aid or something. This is interesting. So now they're practicing grenade throwing. I've seen a few videos where people drop the grenade while they're doing the toss. I don't know if you've seen those close call videos, they're kind of funny. Okay, so it's graduation day. The cadets are officially awarded their cadet rank. Their seniors would put on the ranks for them. And now that they are cadets in the military academy, for the rest of the year they'll go on and study for the next four years. And after earning their college degrees, they will become sworn in as officers in the People's Liberation Army. So what do you think? Is this a type of lifestyle for you? Is this type of lifestyle appealing to you to live a very difficult life? living a monotonous lifestyle of high discipline and strict discipline? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section below.
海，野海棠是我最爱。我一出发，我走向坚强。我一出发，骑着棋牌，骑着相许。我一出发，我走向无惧。我一出发，骑着棋牌。